The prophets of scripture are one of the factors that make the Bible unique in all of literature. When the astrologers and soothsayers in Nebuchadnezzar's court couldn't unlock the secret in the king's dream, Daniel exclaimed, but there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets. Indeed there is, and the scriptures are full of such proofs. The major prophets especially, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel, provide rich fields of study in the evidence God provides. The prophets not only provide miraculous foresight, but illuminating hindsight and deeply convicting insight into the moral dilemmas of their age as well. Here's a helpful clue to remember where these prophets ministered. Isaiah and Jeremiah's names are compounds of Jah or Jehovah, the God who keeps covenant with his people. These two men ministered in the land of Israel, linked with the covenant. On the other hand, Ezekiel and Daniel have the suffix El, a more general name for the God of all the nations. They ministered in Mesopotamia, modern day Iraq. These four prophets with lamentations provide about 20% of the Old Testament, not an insignificant amount. In addition, apart from the size of the content is the strategic vantage point from which they wrote. They were at the crossroads of the ancient world and saw the rise and fall of Assyria, the defeat of Egypt, the collapse and exile of the northern kingdom of Israel, the triumph of Babylon, and its eventual destruction of Jerusalem, as well as the rise of Medo-Persia. Collectively, they ministered for over 200 years from about 740 to 537 BC. Isaiah is the most quoted Old Testament book in the New Testament. 61 passages are cited 85 times. It also speaks more about Christ's person and work than any other Old Testament book. Jeremiah is the longest book in the Old Testament. No wonder, because like Methuselah who lived the longest, it's an expression of the long suffering grace of God. When Methuselah died, the flood came. When Jeremiah finished preaching, Jerusalem fell. Ezekiel tells us the most about the restoration of the nation of Israel and the millennial blessings that will then occur. Daniel is the linchpin of prophecy, explaining future events in great detail and like a key fitting into a lock, it helps reveal the mysteries of the book of Revelation. This is one of the great transition periods in history. These four men would warn about, then witness, first the collapse of the northern ten tribes called Israel, then the utter destruction of Judah in the south. Thus would begin what the Lord Jesus called the times of the Gentiles. And it continues until the restored Roman Empire is crushed to powder by God's champion. Note carefully, there's no suggestion in these books that civilization will improve under the influence of Christianity until the kingdom is ready for Christ to return to the general acceptance of humanity. The last world empire will end in a cataclysm. On this, all the prophets agree. The Son of God, like a great unhewn stone, will destroy the last great blasphemous empire, and from its ruins will rise an everlasting kingdom of peace, joy, and love. And our Jesus will get all the glory. And that's our scripture snapshot of the major prophets.